Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can create a script to access your browser bookmarks through DMenu or Rofi. So I got this idea from DT who created a bunch of DMenu scripts that are really cool. You should definitely check that out. I'll link that video in this description. And I'm going to use oh, quite a bit of his like syntax today to create my script. So I will show you how to do this with both DMenu and Rofi, but in the end, I'll be doing a Rofi version because I use Rofi and not DMenu. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in. Now, you could easily use a program called Buku, and I've done a video on Buku before. But for some reason, Buku has stopped working for me, so I've just decided to create my own. So the first thing I want to do is create the file that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to do touch vm.sh. And then I'm going to make it executed by do, doing chmod a plus x bm dot sh. I think actually I need to zoom in just a little bit here. Make sure you can see. And then I'm going to vim into it. So I'm going to do vim into bm dot sh. Now we need to make this a shell script. So that means it needs a shebang at the beginning. And there are several shebangs that, shebangs that I could use. But I'm just going to use bash, so I'm going to do pound sign, exclamation point, slash, user, slash, bin, slash, bash. Oh, we'll just do sh. That'll be fine. Uh, and then the next thing I want to do is declare a browser variable. Now, you can make this pretty much anything you want that is a browser of some kind. So you could use Firefox like I'm going to do, or you could use Brave, Chromium, whatever. All you got to do to do that is just do editor, or excuse me, not editor. You need to do browser equals quotation marks Firefox. And make sure you spell it right because I don't know how to type. So the next thing we want to do is basically create a list of the bookmarks that you want to be able to access. So you need to do that through an array which you do by doing this declare dash a and then options so this is going to be you're basically declaring a uh, variable called options that we will be able to call later on and pass through to dmenu and um, we want to do equals and then parentheses and then we'll create some space here and then then you just want to basically do a line separated list of your bookmarks. So I'm just going to put in a couple here. So I'm going to do uh, quotation marks, HTTPS. Actually, what I'm going to do is do, I'm going to number these so that there's three fields. So I'm going to do one dash HTTPS colon backslash backslash uh, YouTube.com. Okay. And then I'm just going to yank this and then paste it so a few times and then just do change letter two three four five six and then change word facebook.com actually make sure I spell this right and then change word reddit.com change word Let's see here, monkeytype.com is another one that I use. Another one, we'll actually do a dedicated one for Unix porn, because I go to Unix porn way more than is healthy for anybody. Slash R slash Unix porn. Okay. We'll do github.com. Okay. And then we can delete these extra spaces. Okay. And then we're going to want to go through and paste this in or pass this through to D menu. So in order to do that, we want to do this here. So we need to go back into insert mode and do choice. So whatever the, the my choice is, I want to do dollar sign. So that's basically calling a variable called printf parentheses print f single quotes percent slash oh, excuse me forward slash n 
Okay, and then um, quotation marks, dollar sign, squirrely brackets, options. So this is the variable from our array. Uh, brackets, zero, or excuse me, the, the at sign. Okay, and then um, that ends there. And then we want to go through and do pipe. So I'm going to show you how to do it with D menu first, and then uh, I'll also go. Then I'll go through and change it for Rofi, so you can do both. So we'll do D menu dash I dash L. So this basically means that it's going to to be um, the dash I searches for things that are. Uh, Well, I can't remember what it's called. It basically goes through and searches for things so that they're not exact matches. Uh, it, it doesn't require you to be typing in the case sensitive. Case sensitive is what I'm looking for. Hard words. Okay, and then the next is we, we want to give it a number of values to display. So I'm going to put 20 and then dash P. That basically means it's dash P is uh, being, it's being passed an argument or this is the prompt, excuse me. And then um, the prompt that we want to use, which is bookmark, and then end the quotation marks and the parentheses. Actually, what I'm going to do is create another one up here called uh, quit. 7 dash quit. Actually, I think it's, I just do quit. All right, and then we can do another one. We want to do an if statement here. So if, oops, if double brackets, quotation marks, dollar sign choice does not if if equals quit semicolon then echo program terminated and and exit oops one okay and then what we're going to want to do is do then or excuse me that's wrong uh, else if and then bracket <clears throat> And then question, quotation marks, dollar sign choice. Okay, so basically, so far this is, if our choice is this last option here, quit, then it's going to quit the program. Else it's going to take the choice that we've made and use that in a, an awk, and then, and then it's going to, excuse me, it's going to take the choice that we've made and select the URL using awk and pass it to the browser. Okay? So we want to do colon, uh, semicolon, then CFG equals dollar sign parentheses print F single quotes percent s forward slash n question quotation marks dollar sign squirrely brackets choice and then awk excuse me pipe awk and then single quotes and then squirrely brackets again, print dollar sign and F and squirrely brackets and single quotes and parentheses. Okay. All right, so let's go over what we've done so far. If the choice is quit, then we're gonna quit. Else, we're gonna take the choice and we're going to, we're gonna use awk to pull out the third op, uh, third space in our option which is one two three and we're gonna print that and we're going to pipe it into 
uh, our browser. So dollar sign browser, okay? And then we want it to go question, quotation marks, dollar sign CFG, which is this variable right here. Okay, and then we need to end the we need to end the if statement. So else, okay, echo program terminated. Oops, and then and and exit one, and then fi. Okay, now as we are right now, this should work, but we want to make sure that there's a space afterwards. Always make sure there's a space at the end of your bash script, just in case. Sometimes it needs it, sometimes it doesn't. Okay? So we're going to save this. And we're going to zoom in here again. And we're going to cd it back into that folder. And we're going to do dot, see if this works, dot slash bm dot sh. Now we should get a dmenu thing up along the top with our list of bookmarks. And we do. Now I should be able to select one of these. Just, we'll just choose Facebook and we'll see if that actually worked. And it did. You're not going to be able to see it because it's on another monitor, but it, it can actually see it opened up Facebook. Okay, so now that's how you do it with D menu. Now, if you want to do this with uh, Rofi, it's very simple. I mean, it's literally just changing one word. So you, what you want to do is get it back into insert mode here. Do Rofi, and then add a, a dash in front of D menu, and then save it. And then what we want to do is just open this up and do go back into my folder. Do dot slash, and then we get it with Rofi. See, and then we will just do go to I don't know Unix porn here, and. We have Unix porn. That's how you do it. That's very simple. And like I said, the vast majority of this was actually just completely ripped off from DistroTube. So thanks DT for providing all the work. Uh, all of his scripts did more complicated things, but this is just going through and creating a list of bookmarks that allow you to, you know, access them wherever you would with whatever browser you want all you'd have to do is change the browser that you use now if you have a xdg browser variable set environmental variable set you should be able to change this to change this to dollar sign browser and that should still work I don't have an XDG browser set because I like multiple browsers that I use. I just would rather have this explicitly set to Firefox. Okay, so that's just a very simple script that you can use to manage your bookmarks and independently of your browser. And it's something that you created. So it's really, you know, you can feel a sense of accomplishment. You know, that's what that's the reason why I guess I do it. So, because I actually, after Buku stopped working, I went through and decided just to use you know the built-in Firefox browser bookmarks thing. Um, but I think I'm gonna feel better now that I'm gonna have you know this script that I can just use. Now, actually, I should show you one more thing. If um, once you've saved this, you'll want to copy copy it into so sudo cp slash uh, user local bin and I actually want to make sure you tell what it, bm dot sh into into users local user usr local bin that way it's in your path and if we do this I can be anywhere in the system and do bm dot sh and it will work because it's now in my path and it will tell me where you know it'll just do it I don't have to go through dot slash or whatever. And this way I can go through and add this right to SXHKD or put it in my i3 config or whatever and assign a key binding to it and it will work. And, you know, then I can just, you know, go through and, you know, do my own thing with the bookmarks. So I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
Make sure you subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash the Linuxcast, facebook.com slash Linuxcast. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuxcast. And I'd like to take a moment to thank our patrons, Devon, Marcus, and Merrick. Thanks for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.